is the one that's really kind of hard to watch. Yeah. Of our groundbreaking, uh, for those that were at the breakfast this morning, uh, you heard uh, from Captain Dieguez. I will call him the eloquent part of this, and I will try and be the brief part of this. We're outside though, this is beautiful, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and uh, take this time to make many thanks as best I can. All right, are we ready? Press, are you ready? All right, lift. Three, two, one. All right. Yes, absolutely. So as, as you all know, Hurricane Florence uh, uh, ran over the, the North Carolina in September of 2018. Uh, these three Marine Corps installations in North Carolina suffered significant damage. It's just the oldest and kind of most vulnerable part of our infrastructure uh, that dates back to the 40s and 50s was really susceptible to the winds and the rain that happened. Uh, so thanks to a lot of a lot of planning and project development that, that happened very quickly and, and a lot of pressure support, uh, the Marine Corps received uh, just over $3.6 billion to recover these installations at a time where we were still doing combat operations uh, in Afghanistan and other places, so getting the base uh, restored quickly so that the, the operating forces can get down range was really important to us. So the initial focus was just to do that while we uh, sought to repair, begin the repair and the rebuilding process uh, moving forward. Uh, but without that support, uh, this base would be in a, the Marines here uh, would be in a real difficult situation trying to train and get ready for their combat mission.